forecast. Well, the weather will be improving tomorrow simply because the winds will be coming down. But boy, this is a very brief window. Now, 60 degrees, that's where we topped off today. So above normal temperatures by about a half a dozen degrees. Those northwest winds, 12, still occasionally gets over 21 miles an hour. But the bottom line is those are coming down as well. Overnight, we did have light accumulations of new snow around Tau Ski Valley, Ski Santa Fe, Sandy Peak, and Ski Apache. So that's a good thing in spite of the fact that we have some above normal temperatures looking at us. Statewide right now, you can see from Deming all the way to Raton. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s, a little bit warmer out through the Roswell area. So we do have some changes coming our way. It won't happen tonight. Tonight it'll be improving with the breezes coming down and we'll have a chilly start on the day. But wow, we're going to get into some warmth in the afternoon. Now here's the deal. You see flooding rains again across northern parts of California. We're going to be in the old clear for a couple of days. So we're going to be talking about the warmth, but then more wind right around the corner and temperatures will be dropping according and check this out. The fire danger goes up. Look at the time frame Wednesday and Thursday from Raton, Las Vegas eastward. So no outdoor burning. Then on Thursday, places like the Albuquerque metro area and areas around Socorro go under a high fire threat as well, simply because those winds are going to be getting stronger. So as we go ahead and advance the forecast, you can see a chilly star in the day from Taos down into the Socorro area as we get into the afternoon. You know what? This is going to be one of the better days over the next several sunshine and warmth. Subtle changes working in on Wednesday throughout the West. You can see the clouds thickening during the day from Gallup, Farmington, Durango on into Taos, Albuquerque and Santa Fe, but still a warm one. Stronger winds as we were mentioning eastern parts of the state, but then it really cranks up for Thursday. So Temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees for Tuesday and Wednesday. More clouds and breezes in the afternoon than Thursday. I think there's going to be wind advisories and high wind warnings throughout much of the central and eastern parts of the state as winds will be gusting over 60 miles an hour there. That's what I'm expecting. Moderately windy and cool for Friday. Saturday, Sunday, the clouds thicken, winds come down, but Monday and Tuesday look like strong winds again. Now, we do have 